hello kids how are you so you can see a picture in your video in the slide whose picture is this can you tell me okay then another another picture now you can assume he is a postman okay so a postman is one who delivers the letters okay and he is very hard working now today we are going to do application and uh, we write application to the principal to the authorities in an organization so what is an application an application is a formal re request to be considered for a position or to be allowed to do or have something submitted to an authority institution or an organization you can say so that it will be accepted by the person and it will not be rejected so we write application for the uh, approval of something in a requesting way so what is the format of writing application that i am going to tell you so that it will be accepted by the person to whom you are writing so this is so basically we are today we are going to do applications so first of all i would like to ask that who post letters and who delivers letter so the people post letters to their relatives to their friends okay in offices uh, in an organization but uh, and who delivers the letter that is the postman the postman delivers the letters okay but i am going to tell you that letters are of two type that is formal and informal letter okay so our topic is that we are going to do application so what is formal letter and what is informal letter that is a uh, formal letter is that uh those letter which we write in a formal way no hi hello we can't write hi hello formal letter we sent in an organization means in a school in a in an in an office okay and informal letters are those <clears throat> the letters which we send to our relatives or friends so these are the these we write to the organization <coughs> sorry so here organization you can say school to the principal who is the head in the uh, school so the principal and in the formal letters in, in this one formal letters we have to write down in a very formal way we don't have to use the informal language in formal letter in this letter okay uh, as we uh, we write hi how are you i'm fine here in informal letters to our friends or relatives but we can't use these type of language while writing formal letter okay so i'm going to uh, tell you that how to uh, write a uh, write an application so application comes under which that formal letter or informal letter so the formal letters this application will come under the formal one okay applications are formal like we have to say something so i am going to tell you how to write what is the format so here it is we are going to do application to the principal so i am writing the question so that you will be able to know how the question will come write an application to the principal 
of your school for an urgent piece of work at home okay so here you are having one urgent work and you need leave so in that way uh, you have to inform your principal so what is the format i have told you so i am going to write application so there you give application to your class teacher to the principal so here i am writing so the receiver's address is in an organization the head of the school is principal so you are going to write application to the principal so t should be capital p should be capital here okay the principal rishikul vidyapeet rishikul vidyapeet means address l alipur name of the school and address then you have to write date so in the format you have seen date is 27 april 2020 then you have to write down subject subject is here you don't you can underline also but it's your wish underline it or don't underline it so that is requesting for an urgent piece of work or uh, requesting for leave okay so here you will write salutation that is dear sir or sir itself is a respected word so you can write sir only then you will start with the with the words most respectfully or you can write down with due respect i wish to state that or say that i have an urgent piece of work at home so i cannot attend the school on 28th of april okay is it clear up to here so you can write down here even that is tuesday you can mention the day also then this is the first paragraph then you have to leave one line from the next paragraph you have to change the paragraph here you will write i shall be highly obliged to you so here i'm going to uh here the page has been finished so i'm turning it off turning it here okay i'm writing here so this is with the margin line you have to write that is uh thanking you yours sincerely or faithfully you can write and then your name i'm writing my name but you have to write yours name your class you have to mention your class fourth rose or tuli whatsoever and then your roll number and then finishing line so this is the way to write application to the principal so i'm going quickly i'm going to tell you how to do it so with the margin line first of all you have to draw margin line so and uh, have you observed that i have written with the margin line if you will not write with the margin line then your marks will be deducted so uh, don't leave the space while writing so i have written t and p should be capital the principal the receiver's address to whom you are writing then date 
then subject requesting for leave then salutation that is sir if it is ma'am then you have to write ma'am then most respectfully i wish to say that ya yeah, state that i have an urgent piece of work at home so i cannot attend the school on 28th april 2020 that is tuesday there have stopped you have to uh, change the paragraph that is i shall be highly obliged to you then uh, you have to uh, end it up with the this one thanking you your sincerely your name class roll number it now this is what you have to write now i am going to tell you that yours sincerely mostly students write like this so it's a wrong way to write and some students write like this yours sincerely okay so s should be small here no apostrophe no comma both are wrong so this is the right way to write yours sincerely y capital s should be small in sincerely you can see here okay so i hope you have understood so i'm uh, don't worry if it is not clear i'm going to share this to you with this video or i'll attach in this video thank you so here it is the application i have attached over here so that you will learn it i hope you will learn it here i have added one more line that is after tuesday that kindly grant me leave for one day i shall be highly obliged to you okay i hope you will learn it and uh, in the subject you can write also absence of leave even so thank you and have a nice day ahead